Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. Um, I am coming to you this evening with a combination haul. It's mostly groceries with a few other items thrown in. This first section, first segment, what I'm going to show you first of all, was bought this evening at Real Canadian Superstore. I also went to Walmart and Petland today. I almost never go to Walmart for things because there's no points program there. Um, but there are a few things there that I like, like sandwich meat for one thing. I just, I have, there's some good varieties there that I like in decent prices and then I got suckered into a few other deals while I was there as well and I had gone there because it was kind of like right next door to Petland which I needed to go to so first I'm going to show you the superstore items that I bought and then I'll show you the Walmart and I might even throw the Petland items in too just to show you um there was no real points per se on this order I do have a cumulative points offer of $150 if you spend $150 this week between Thursday and next Wednesday, I'll get $15 in points back. However, I only spent around $75.76 tonight, so I'm only halfway there. And I don't really know that I'll be spending the other half this coming week because I've, you know, between what I spent here tonight and at Walmart earlier, I think I've kind of already maxed out what I want to spend for the week. So we'll see. But let me show you what I picked up. So there really weren't any point offers on these because the cumulative points offer, I'm only halfway there. Most of these other things were not on any offers. Um, I did get two containers of grapes, red grapes and seedless grapes. They were $6 each. PC or President's Choice brand bottled water, 124 pack we bought. Um, that was on sale for $2.29. Limited four, just bought one for now. A block of Armstrong cheese, marble, uh, that was on sale for $7.97. It was limited of one, so that's why I just bought one for now. Probably could have bought a second one if I would have done a separate transaction, but I thought I'm just, just get the one for the time being. And then one box of tall kitchen garbage bags. These are a 30 count and they were, oh, I just saw them on here a second ago. $5.99, I believe. Now to buy a larger package would have been a little bit more, but not too bad. I think if I would have bought a larger package of just the regular size, not the tall, it wouldn't have been a very bad price. I forget how much it was, but it was a decent price too. But I think it would have been more economical than buying a small box like this of the tall garbage bags but I'm pretty sure the tall bags are what I use in my garbage can so I figured I better stick with these for now could have bought the larger package but I'm just trying to not go overboard on the spending at the moment bought a four liter of milk or if you're in the U.S. I guess you would say that's a quart but uh this is what we call here in Canada we refer to it as four liters and that is oh where is it it's over five dollars I know that um here in Canada for us 5.58 so I've read, I've seen some YouTubers from the U.S. saying that a quart is like three or four something there. Well, we're like 558 for the same size, only it's we call it liters here, so it's four liters. So we are definitely a little bit more for our milk than what you in the U.S. are paying. Uh, no name brand again, anything from Super Short's yellow packaging with the black bar. It says no name. That is store brand. I've got just their no name brand bread. Two loaves of that because it was cheaper if you bought them in quantities of two so they were $1.99 each if you bought them in quantities of two so I bought two loaves of bread one to have and one to freeze for the time being I'm not going to use them all in one fell swoop and then rather than spend a bunch of money on a lot of like expensive Tupperware dishes I grabbed a set each of rectangle and a set of round plastic containers and lids I use these sometimes if people are here for dinner and they want to take leftovers home most people are pretty good about returning dishes to me but just in case somebody forgets it's no big deal because they're not that expensive. There's, I believe, five, five dishes and five lids. And I think the same thing, same size, five each. Yeah, ten pieces in each package. So five containers, five lids in each package. And they were $5.49 each. So it's not a loss if for some reason somebody forgets to bring one back or just simply doesn't bring one back. Or if somehow or other they get cracked in the microwave and, or damaged, it's not a big loss. Whereas if I send my actual Tupperware home with somebody and somebody forgets to bring them back or it gets damaged, that costs me a little more to replace. So I just like to have these and we can just throw leftovers in the fridge in them too. So they're not too bad. And then I made the mistake of going down the cookie aisle with my daughter because she wanted to look for something there. And <laughs> I shouldn't blame her. This is why I'm responsible for my own actions, right? But I found these PC is also President's Choice. That's also a store brand. And I've tried these cookies before. The Decadent Peanut Butter Chocolate Chunk Cookies. They are, they are decadent, just like the label says. They're really good. They're my guilty pleasure, a weakness. Although actually a lot of what I did at Walmart today, when I show you, you'll probably say that's also a guilty pleasure because I kind of did a lot of indulging on chocolate today. 
Nah, not a not a very smart shopping day for me. But these were good. They're on sale, two for six dollars, so three dollars a package. And then I bought some Life Brand uh, allergy formula that is sixty caplets. And I want to say those were they're thirteen ninety nine. Um, another PC Optimum uh, sponsor or participant, I guess, is Shoppers Drug Mart. And because uh, Superstore is PC Optimum program is their points program, and they are owned by Loblaws, the parent company in Eastern Canada. It's Loblaws instead of Superstore, but Shoppers Drug Mart is part of the same company of families, and sometimes you'll see Life Brand products in Superstore. And I know that uh, my daughter and I both have seasonal allergies, and these are non-drowsy, and they're quite effective. We like these, and so I thought I better just stock up for the season. I have some now, but I know that we'll, we'll use them. So I thought I would grab some just quickly while I was there tonight. Bananas, I believe, are 69 cents a pound still. So they uh, were $1.57. And then finally, three pistachio pudding mixes. I had made a recipe, a bun cake a week or so ago that took a yellow cake mix and three pistachio pudding mixes. And that depleted the last of the pudding mixes I had in the house, at least the last of the pistachio ones anyway. So I decided to get three more to put back in my uh, stockpile or pantry, if you will, just to replenish that. The puddings, if I can find them quickly here, they were $1.29 each. The only other thing not pictured on here was not for me, um, was a small tub of Tim Hortons ice cream. And that was something my daughter wanted to purchase. And there was a limit of one on the purchase. And so she bought one herself and asked me to put one on her bill. That was $3.32. Now, you'll see I had 75 base points. That's because I spent basically $75 before tax. In, well, basically $75 in store. So it's one point per dollar spent and then base points offers low, another 75 points. I'm not exactly sure how that works. This base points thing is a fairly new thing they've started doing in the last month or so. So I spent 78.02 subtotal after tax was 81.74. That's including the 332 for the ice cream right here. And I really should start separating things into grocery items and non-grocery items. Most things on here were grocery items except for, I mean, technically I would count the food dishes as grocery items because I use them for food. The only difference would be the, um, the allergy pills. That technically would not be part of it. The 332 for the ice cream doesn't count because my that was my daughter's purchase. She's already paid me for it. So the allergy pills would not have counted as part of the 8174 and neither would the kitchen gar garbage bags, the 599. So when I say 8174, uh, take off the 332 for the ice cream, the 599 for the garbage bags, and the um, oh, the 13.99 for the allergy pills. So even just the garbage bags and the allergy pills alone take off $20 off that total, and you'll see that I spent around $60 for groceries, $3.32 of which was my daughter's purchase for one of her grocery items. So that's what I picked up at Superstore tonight. Oh, let me show you. So you'll see here, I got the 75 points times two. I also took $20 cash back. I got, the only points I got today were the 75 points times two, so 150 points, leaving me with a closing balance of 202,895 points. So I'm sitting just at the $200 level of PC Optimum points currently. Now, let me put the cold items in the fridge here and then I'll be back in a few minutes to show you what I picked up at Walmart. Okay, and now here's what I picked up at Walmart earlier today. And as you can see, there's not a lot of very healthy choices in here. It is true what they say when they say, tell you to not shop hungry. Not a bad, not a good idea. And I know better. I'm a grocery store cashier. I know better than to do that. But yet, here we are. I went into Walmart because it's right next door to Petland. And I grabbed a few things because I was primarily going for sandwich meat, as I said. But these little guys, these mini chocolate bars, most of them are 10 packs. A couple of them are 9 like this, like Mentero is a nine pack, but these were $2 a pack or basically three for six. In past, whenever I've been in stores, I've only ever seen these 10 packs in, available in either Coffee Crisp, Carab uh, Coffee Crisp, Kit Kat, or Smarties. Now you can get all kinds of stuff. You can get Mint Aero, Mint Aero, I can't speak, Mint Aero, Coffee Crisp, both of which are my favorites. I, I love anything chocolate mint. So I mean, Aero, just plain Aero is good, but I like Mint Aero because I love chocolate mint. Coffee Crisp, Wonder Bar is not my favorite, but I like it. It's just something different rather than having just the usual choices. Twix and then caramel. This is one of my favorites. So I got two packs of those. So three for six. I got six packs. That's 
This, these Chip It Round Baking Chocolate Chips, these are new. They are cream cheese flavored chips. Now, I assume you could probably put them in cookies. I don't see why not, but I looked at the back because there's always a recipe on the back just to see what it says. And this actually is suggesting a recipe for a carrot and cream cheese chip muffins. You could use these in a muffin, which would probably be fine. And I maybe I will do that. But I like the idea of just taking one of my basic chocolate chip cookie recipes and instead of putting regular semi-sweet chocolate chip or milk chocolate chips and then putting these in there too because I'm sure that would also take, taste really good. Let me find my receipt. I want to say that those were $4.29, I want to believe. $4.27. So, and then on to more junk food. Two of these I bought for my daughter because I know that she, even though she's 23 years old, she buys these sometimes in store when she sees them because they're a throwback to her childhood. She says, so these two boxes, Dunkaroos, we don't seem to get them very often here in Canada, but when we do, she likes to snap up a couple boxes. And I believe that these were three for nine. So if you bought three boxes, and you could mix and match a bit, they were three for nine. So they're $3 each. Um, I'm looking actually on the receipt. They, they are showing his three ninety seven. There should have been a discount come off at the end. It looks like I see a dollar sixty eight came off at the end. So that's probably... Uh, actually, it says underneath the minis, three for six dollars, dollar sixty-eight came off. I don't see that the discount came off to make these guys three for nine because the Reese's Puffs uh, breakfast bars were also part of the three for nine deal, but I do not see a discount having come off for that. It's showing three ninety-seven for the Dunkaroos each and three sixty-seven for the Reese Puffs. So I'm a little bit unsure about that as to why there wasn't a discount. But I mean, I'm not going to drive back ten-minute drive. Tomorrow is 10 o'clock at night, Friday night right now. I'm not going to drive back there tomorrow just to argue with them over why 67 cents didn't come off one box and 97 cents each didn't come off the other. Because that's like 2 or $3 discount. And I mean, I want to get the discount. I want to get the right price. But I'm not going to waste $5 gas in order to argue with them and get $3 back. It just doesn't, doesn't make sense. But lesson learned for next time. So the Reese, Reese's Puffs peanut butter and cocoa cereal bars, I will probably try that myself just for a treat. Although I may see if she wants to try one too. But the two Dunkaroos are mainly for her because, like I said, we don't get them here in Canada all that often. And they, she says they are a reminder of her childhood. So she, one is the vanilla cookies and chocolate frosting. And one is vanilla cookies and rainbow sprinkles frosting. And then chicken strips, the great value brand. That is, of course, the Walmart brand. Please excuse all the noise in the background. I am a parrot owner and my two conures are going crazy in the next room. Please excuse all that. Um, the chicken strips were $8.97 and that's for a one and a half kilogram box which is actually quite good because usually at Superstore, they usually, their store brand of chicken strips usually come in a large bag. And I forget the size of the bag, but they're like 15 to $18, something like that. So to get a kilogram and a half for eight, eight ninety seven for that's probably five or six dollars cheaper. So although I typically shop just at Superstore and at Sobeys because of the points and Walmart doesn't have a points program, sometimes the price just wins out if it's better overall than than those other stores. So in this case, the price went out over points. And then on to what I came in there for, which was chick uh, not chicken, but sandwich meat. Uh, one Cajun chicken breast, two oven roasted chicken breast, one oven roasted turkey breast. These were all $3.97 each. And then at my hairstylist suggestion, I looked down the hair aisle, uh, hair product aisle to see if I could find this root cover up and I did. So I got a light, light to medium blonde. I had bought one other spray once before on Amazon, not having a chance to look at it in person, and I believe it said medium blonde, and when I tried it on my roots, it actually was darker than I anticipated, so I really haven't used it much, but light to medium is a shade lighter, so I'm thinking I'll probably get more use out of that. That was $10.97. That was a little bit unplanned, but spontaneously decided to have a look just because, you know, I mean, I'm at that stage of life where I'm getting gray roots and I do get my hair colored, but sometimes <laughs> when you're trying to stretch it out and until the next hair color or next hair appointment, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And then these chocolate bars were a dollar each. I got four of almond and raisin. Like I said, I mean, there was not a lot of wise choices today other than the sandwich meat and maybe arguably the root spray. Um, chicken strips, sure. Like I can cook those up. We can add them with fries or I can cook them up and put them in a salad for my lunch or work. Sure, you could probably argue that, but technically chicken strips are sort of a junky food item too, I suppose. So technically this really wasn't a wise food choice haul here, but you know, lots of mini chocolate bars because I'm planning on taking these in my lunches to work. Um, but that's okay. I mean, I will be splitting these up, taking them in my lunches to work. The breakfast bar, even though it's not a real healthy breakfast bar, is something I will munch on for breakfast, obviously, because it's a breakfast bar. I'll snack on that. Maybe even throw one in my lunch bag. 
and then chocolate bars. I mean, lots of chocolate. Chocolate bars and then the minis over here. Oh, and I forgot to put one thing on the counter that is also part of this haul. I'll be right back. Alrighty, there was two things from Walmart I forgot to put out. And these would come under a different category. I guess they would probably come out of a gift fund, I suppose. This, I have a bridal shower this coming Tuesday evening for a young lady at our church. And I know she's registered. And I've taken a look at her registry. Um, but I decided just to buy something on my own. And it's just, one of these things is actually similar to what is on her registry. She had listed a glass uh, eight by eight cake pan. So I have already picked up at home since last weekend, I picked up a tea towel set and then Hallmark, I picked up a, an ornament for this coming Christmas. If you can believe it, they have some out already. It's a keepsake one. That's a photo frame. It says we tied the knot in 2023. So I'm going to give her that. But then along with the tea towels and the or photo ornament, I grabbed this set. This has a nine by 13 cake pan and an eight by eight cake pan. Uh, the eight by eight pan I saw listed on her registry. So perfect. I just picked it up at Walmart. And it has a 9 by 9, 9 by 13 pan as well as an 8 by 8. So there's two sizes that are very useful, very multi-purpose. And they actually both have lids as well, which will be handy. Uh, the set was $17.97. And then rather than go to Dollarama and get gift wrap, which sometimes I do, I got this lovely wrap here at Walmart. It was $6.29 for this roll. I didn't see any that were actually a true just wedding pattern but this was pretty and kind of elegant looking I thought so that will be fine I could have gone to Walmart like I said and got some gift wrap but sometimes I find with Walmart gift wrap sometimes you get what you pay for and it rips real easy so I wasn't willing to risk that so anyway that is what I got at Walmart um so $17.97 plus uh, $6.29 so basically $25 or so that it would be gift items right there and then my hair root spray $10.97 that would well I guess that would, I don't know if you can I wouldn't consider that a grocery item. I guess that would be like a toiletry item, I suppose. But my total overall, I haven't done the math to subtract everything, but my total overall, subtotal was $91.96. After tax, it was $98.55, and that's including the Pyrex set, the gift wrap, and the hairspray. So if you subtract, subtract from the $98, subtract the $25 for the gift wrap and the gift, and the $11 basically for the hairspray. You know, it's my actual total, well, $25. 98 minus 25, you're down to 73 and then about 11. So about $62 worth of groceries, although a lot of them were snack items. And a couple of these are going to be gifts for my daughter, the Dunkaroos. But that's what I spent at Walmart. And now to wrap this video up, I will quickly show you what I picked up at Petland. Because even though we don't have dogs or cats, birds and rabbits cost money to feed too. Okay, just to wrap this up quickly because uh, it's getting late in the evening, here's what I picked up at Petland. We do not have cats or dogs, but we do have birds and a rabbit, and they are not cheap to feed either. Our biggest bird is an African gray parrot, and so to supplement along with these pellets that we give all of our bigger birds, I also buy her these Supreme fruit pellets, and that is what she takes. Uh, there's a couple different sizes, and we take... We also buy the next size down for some of our other birds, like our Conyers, our Quaker, and our Indian Ringneck. But these ones we get for her because she's got a bigger beak. She can handle the bigger size, and it does say it's four African Greys, obviously. So um, technically it also says Conyers on there for this size, but I haven't tried them on this bigger pellet. I usually try that, give them the next size down. Uh, that is the uh, Supreme is $28.97. And then here we have Tropican Lifetime. It says... It's in bulk, and I had to switch it over to a Ziploc baggie because when I got it home, I noticed that the plastic bag that we filled at the store had sprung a leak, and so some of it was trying to come out. It was in my reusable bag, so we managed to save pretty much all the pellets that had leaked, but that's that's fine. None of them went to waste. But then in a Ziploc baggie right now, and that because it's in bulk, they have to weigh that. That came to twenty nine sixty one, And then over here, we have rabbit pellets that we also bought in bulk. And they were a Living World brand, and they were, oh, let's see here, 1208. These these bird parrot pellets here, they say a lot, they refer to them as being bubblegum pellets because if you smell them, they smell like bubblegum. I don't know if they taste like bubblegum because, as I've said before, I'm not a bird, I'm not about to taste one, but they do definitely smell like that. I, apparently, they like them. That is like their, for my bigger birds, that is their main staple of their diet. And then they get the next size down of Supreme pellets, and Ruby or African Grey gets these as well, along with these. And then the rabbit pellets here, as I said, were twelve oh eight. And then some spray millet, our budgies, cockatiels, conures, Quaker, Indian ringneck, they all love millet. And so that is, I'm not even sure how many pieces are in that. It's a decent size, though. And that is $16.97. And then for our cockatiels, we decided to grab two different food and water holders. 
they were five seventy eight each. Um, I because they the food and water holders dishes they have right now are not the greatest. They don't they are a bit of a challenge to screw on to the side of the cage. But I don't know for sure how well these will work because they hook on. And the last ones they had that hooked on, they were able to unhook one side pretty easy. But the ones that they had that they did that to, those were plastic ones and very lightweight. Being metal, these might be a little bit heavier and might, they might have a harder time making a mess with that. If, the, if they do toss these out or unhook them, then I guess we'll have to give them to a different bird. And then we'll have to go back to our current way of doing things with the cockatiels or else find some other way to... Just because you don't want to waste food. And yet if you hook up their... If you put a... A food dish in there whether it's screwed on or hooked on or whatever and then they're constantly dumping it out um it's kind of a waste so anyway all that to say the 1697 for the millet uh, 1156 for the dishes 1208 for the rabbit food 2961 and 2897 for the parrot food after tax it was 11108 and that is with the petland card that gave us a little bit of a discount so that is what i spent at petland today so that is everything we bought today at uh, Superstore, Walmart, and Petland. Actually, it's the reverse order. We went to Petland first and then Walmart and then Superstore. But that is what we spent today. Not a cheap day, but we needed to catch up on some pet food and grab a few grocery items. Not a lot, but just a few just to get restocked on some things. So that's what we spent today. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And if you did, make sure you're subscribed if you would like to. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And we will see you in the next video. Have a great weekend, everybody.